guys. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm just sharing a little video. We, uh, we had grouted this yesterday and um, let it set up good um, to get on here and, and get the haze off the tile. Um, so we have used a non-sanded grout and that we mix, our, mix with water and so we kind of mix it a little bit looser than normal so we can get into all the little so many little cracks and crevices that um, it's better that it's a little slightly slightly a little bit loose looser more fluid and um, that's it and then you just we just get it all on with uh, we use a flexible float one that's gonna flex on the side it's not so stiff you can see the rubbers very the foam underneath is soft and the rubbers very flexible to kind of jump over the uh, different heights of the mosaic because these guys here they just make strips out of a colored marble this is all natural colored marble and they, they rip it into strips and um, see and then they take a chipper and they chip out all these different shapes but they try to keep it all the same thickness but sometimes they get a piece pieces get a little thinner than others like you can see here the difference in the heights of the of the mosaic is uh, not the same so if you didn't really wash it down you would lose detail on your mosaic so if anyone's doing this I guess you could come in after it's all done and realize that you had buried some of your pieces but while you're washing it just uh, you keep the sponge damp and then you just keep working the sponge until you can get the tiles to um, the lower tiles to pop through that's pretty much it and then you just uh, work with decent lighting so you can see things. But you don't wanna bury anything important. Like see that little thing there? That could get buried and that's the fish's eye. And that's kind of like the fish's eye is a little thing and it's important to see the eye on, on the artwork. See how small that little eyeball, if that was buried, it wouldn't, it wouldn't lose its uh, detail. Anyways, and then we'll probably just come on this uh, with one more time with the damp sponge and just uh, get it ready for our sealing because we'll seal this up with a, a tile sealer enhancer. And you can see the, uh, it's still got the haze on it. We actually went on top of it with the sealer enhancer first so it releases the grout don't stick so bad into the uh, mosaic but um so you could see where the grout is kind of hide the detail we got a little i have a little let me show you look at this i'll get this in there and i'll actually come to the spots where things got hidden and i can just uh break free some of the grout that got embedded Especially if it was an eyeball on the fish or something like that. You got to go and look at your mosaic and make sure you um, You don't lose detail like you could see some of the lower tiles You don't want a lot of grout areas either because that's really not the intention of the um, The mosaic is to have uh, See then you gotta The intention of the mosaic is not to have a bunch of grout as the artwork it's the tile that makes the artwork anyways it takes a little bit just you know if somebody's doing that just you know go along and just uh, work it until you feel comfortable with the piece the way it is and you're gonna live with it like that 
Um, so, so for instance, when I was grouting this particular tile here, it broke, it broke free, the grain of the tile. The tile's still there, but it broke free. We'll have to pull that out and then make an octagonal piece the same color, pop it in there. Couple of repairs, so. But that's it, guys. Just sharing that and um, showing you how that ended up coming out. And um, that's how we ended up making out on that. And now, next video was we're gonna get right on a on a heat, a baseboard heating. That that came in, so we can share a couple of those videos if anyone's interested in doing like a uh, this is a rental made by rental and we'll share that anyways guys happy thanksgiving and um let me show you quick the sealer enhancer in case anyone's interested the particular one we use is right here this one, sealing enhanced, that's what we're going to put on that now afterwards. We're going to give it a few coats to kind of bring the, um, make it uniform with the, with the mosaic in the grout and then give it a, give it a uniform look when we grout, um, seal over. So we'll give it a few coats. We still, we're not gonna try to make it look shiny, so plastic. We're just gonna try to make it look natural as we can, and we'll go as far as coats-wise with that sealer until we get what we're looking for. But I think if you put a lot of coats on that, you turn it into plastic, which is kind of something we don't wanna do. We want it to look naturally finished with the tile. All right, guys, happy Thanksgiving. We'll catch you on the next one. Enjoy.